Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy. You know me. If you don't know me, you will know me. My name is Marzi. How's it going? Um, I know what you're thinking right now. You can hear my voice. Yeah, I know. I don't usually do this. This is something new for me. But I felt like I should do something different for this video. Kind of give you guys sort of uh, like a background of who I am and why I started doing this YouTube thing and where I wanted to go and whatnot. So here I am. Here's my beautiful, luxurious voice that you may hear for, I don't know how long I'm going to talk, but you're going to hear it. Um, if you want me to do more things like this, go ahead and let me know. I mean, this is something different for me, but I'll do whatever for y'all because I love y'all, man. <laughs> like, okay, I'm not going to get emotional. Anyways, um, so I'm just going to talk about kind of who I am and a little bit more about me so you guys know a little bit more about why I started YouTube and what this means to me and whatnot. So I have been playing video games pretty much my whole life. I'm 20 years old now. Um, and pretty much my whole life I've just always kind of used that as an outlet for me to just relax and have fun. And it got to the point where when I was younger my parents hated I played it so much. I played video games so much and um, kind of like kept me from playing during like weekdays and stuff when I had school and all that type of stuff and back then you know there wasn't that many games to play so I wasn't really tripping about it like all all there really was for me to play was like Call of Duty and Halo and that was that was that was really it but you know other games weren't really that intriguing to me I just love shooter games and stuff and so it, it was cool for me to just you know only play on the weekends which is kind of what I still do now but um it's good school and such not um I've been playing pretty much my whole life and up until about high school is when I was just like dang I love video games but then once high school hit I kind of just kind of stepped away from that because there's nothing out I had sports I had school I had college to think about and I kind of just kind of strayed away from video games. I didn't play them as much. Um, I was big chilling for pretty much those four years. And since nothing was really out other than games that just repeated themselves like Call of Duty, like 2K, like Madden, I, I wasn't interested. And then I got into college and my roommate was like, trying to get me on this game that all of you probably know by now, Fortnite. And I thought the same thing, I, as most people thought, and I was thinking this kid, this game's for children, this game doesn't look fun at all. And then I watched him play for a while, and I don't know what it was about sitting in a bush for 20 minutes that was so intriguing to me, but it was... It was it was amazing to me like and this is back in like season one season two so nobody knew how to do anything at all all they knew how to do was shoot and hide and i just i don't know it kind of it kind of caught my attention and after a while i played he he got he let me on his playstation and i played it and uh, I, re I remember the first game i ever played i he literally had me sit in a bush for what felt like an hour and I was just like my heart was beating out my chest every time somebody came next to me I had a sniper and a grenade that was that was that was the my entire inventory that was it and it was just like that 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 feeling I got in my heart like my adrenaline running was just so exhilarating you know it was something that I haven't felt in a long time I even remember my first win, it was, um, I did that same tactic that everybody else did the entirety of season two. I hid in the bush up until I was top three 
and the circle was getting smaller and smaller and I was hiding behind a hut when I noticed that one of the la other two guys was building and I was astonished I didn't know what to do I froze but the other guy you know he started fighting him they fought for like forever and they fell down to the ground and one of them died and one of them lived and I was just so scared this is my first ever 1v1 situation all I had was a gray AR and I was just terrified because this man looked like a god he built a skyscraper in two seconds I didn't know what to do and um, he built a wall and tried to heal up and all I can remember is literally shooting four bullets at the wall one bullet hit him and he died and I won that game with one kill and I was never more hype I was the hypest person in the entire world like my roommates sitting here like let's fucking go and I'm sitting here like yo I'm a god but you know, I, I was trash um but yeah um that's kind of after that I kind of just got hooked like it was just like dang this is fun this is something that is just really cool for me and it felt right you know and for a long time while I was playing the game I didn't really care about getting any better I just kind of cared about staying at that um like that median like that average player type thing and I didn't care about getting better until season four that's when I kind of started using stuff like double pump RIP um stuff like that and I tried to actually get better at building but when season five came out and they took away my double pump I just didn't care anymore I just played for fun and I was just coasting from there and I didn't really get serious about being the best I could be in the game until really season nine because I noticed like everybody's dropping 30 bombs everybody's solo squatting and I'm just here just being a casual and there's nothing wrong with being a casual player but I felt like I wanted more and I kind of just took more initiative to get better at the game which was good for me and also like really stressful because you know whenever you're not doing good at something you kind of get a little little bothered but it's okay you know it's just a process right and um yeah like I just kind of worked hard as I can with what I had because for my first two years of college I'm in my third year I didn't have my um like my PlayStation and everything with me because I was focused on school. So whenever I could play, I would try to do something different, try to do something better, try to work on something, work on my aim, work on my building, stuff like that, you know? And um, hold up, I'm hungry, I'm sorry. ASMR. ASMRs. Anyways, um, that was good. That was a good bite. Where was I? Anyways, I just wanted to get better after that, and it got to a point where, like, back in the day, I used to call myself like the. I used to call myself like the best shotgunner out of all my friends because shotguns were my thing because of my main man, my main squeeze, the first dude I ever watched play the game, um, Daquan. And out of my friend group, I was the best. Like, I just, I was like, damn, I'm the console version of Daquan, bro. Nobody can mess with me. And it didn't really hit me that there were a bunch of people better than me until like season six and then season nine was when I decided to get better. So I'm already behind the curve, but I don't feel like it's too late, you know? So I started a YouTube kinda to um, keep track of my progress. You know what I mean? Like every video is supposed to get better. Every video I'm supposed to get better. And I wanted to 
kind of bring y'all along on that journey because I don't know I just it, it helps to have somebody there supporting you you know because sometimes when you do it alone you can get discouraged and it gets really tough on you I just it, it kind of helps to know that there are people out there that are rooting for you that are cheering you on that are like you can do this and that really helps you know and I really appreciate all of you that watch my videos that even watch 10 seconds of it because you know it's that means a lot to me and you know I, I, I just have that mindset now that no matter what happens I'm, I'm gonna grind this stuff you know I'm gonna grind out becoming the best version of me I can be in this game and I'm gonna grind out becoming the best version of me I can be in real life and even if I have a hundred thousand subscribers and followers versus one, I'm still gonna grind no matter what. And I feel like that's just, that's important in these days because some people just do it just because and like do it just for the money and stuff. I'm doing it just to, I'm doing it for myself. You know, I'm not doing it because I want money. I'm not doing it because any other nonsense I'm doing this for me and having y'all along the way will just make it a little bit easier on me and you know stuff like that I'm not good with talking I apologize but anyways um yeah I mean hopefully I didn't talk your ear off because if I did I mean sucks you just kind of have to live with one ear I guess um but yeah, this has been my TED Talk. I'm going to have to see y'all later. I don't know how to end these. So, uh, bye.